the good list uh, from another book. This one is called Paul Jennings Undone. He's a great Australian children's author. And there's a few short stories in here and there in chapters. So I'll start with the first sto short story, do that chapter by chapter, and go from there. There are only short chapters, but that's all right. So the first short story is called Batty, chapter one. A stone with a hole in it. A sort of green colored jewel in a leather pouch. Just lying there in the beam of my torch. Someone must have dropped it, but who? There was only dad and me in our two little tents alone in the bush. I picked the pouch up by the piece of leather thong which was threaded through it. Then I crawled into my tent. I should have shown dad the stone with a hole in it. But he was snoring away inside his tent and I didn't want to wake him. And there was something odd about it. The pouch was worn and the thong was twisted, as if it had hung around someone's neck for many years. Who was the owner? Who had lost it way out here in the wilderness? I snuggled down inside my sleeping bag and hoped that no one was snooping around. The noises of the bush seemed especially loud. Frogs chirped in a billabong. Well, they can't hurt you, I said softly. Something bounded through the scrub. Kangaroo, I whispered to myself. A growling grunt filled the air. Koala, I thought, hopefully. I closed my eyes and tried to make sleep come. I dared not to listen to the rustlings and sighings outside. I told myself that Dad's tent was only a few metres away, but in that dark, dark night, it could have been a million miles. Scared? I was terrified. What if someone was out there? Creeping, watching, waiting. Get hold of yourself, girl, I said to myself. There is no one out there. A twig broke. Snapped clean in the night. I stopped breathing. I stopped moving. But I didn't stop thinking. Go away. Please go away, begged my frozen brain. I wanted to call out to Dad, but my mouth wouldn't work. The flap of the tent lifted. I could see the stars and the black trees. Someone moved. A shadow rustling, searching. Hands took my bag and opened it. I wanted to cry out, but something stopped me. Two, tin po two pinpoints of light moved in a dark head. Eyes. Desperate eyes. Quietly I moved my fingers. Like a spider's legs, they crept under the blankets towards my torch. Softly. Don't disturb him. Don't make him angry. With shaking hands, I pointed the tor torch into the gloom. I felt like a soldier with an empty gun. I flicked on the switch. And there he was. A wild boy with tangled hair and greasy skin. He was covered in flapping rags. The tent was filled with a terrible squeaking like a million mice. The boy reared back. In one hand he held a piece of cake from my bag. And in the other was the pouch with the hollow stone. He sucked in the air with a hiss. Turned to flee and then stopped. He looked at me with a silent plea. A desperate call for help. He held his hand in front of his face to stop the light of the torch. The moon escaped from a bank of clouds and softened the tent with light. I should have called for Dad. But my eyes were locked in silent conversation with the intruder. I could see that the boy was as frightened as me. He was poised to run, like a wild animal warning food, but unable to take it from a human hand. A wrong movement and he... Hey! yelled Dad. It was just as if someone had turned out a light. The boy vanished in the twinkle. I didn't even see him go. So that's the end of chapter one and I hope you're enjoying these videos.